reported today in The Verge. HP Spectre X360 13, late 2019, review, yeah, this tracks. There's really just one thing you need to know about the latest Spectre X360 13 from HP, the trackpad doesn't suck. For years, HP has built excellent laptops under the Spectre branding that have all been let down by terrible trackpads. The company insisted on sticking with poor performing Synaptics drivers, even while the rest of the Windows laptop industry, including HP's own business laptops, switched to the far superior precision drivers provided by Microsoft. But HP has seen the error of its ways, or it got tired of reading reviews bemoaning its trackpads, and the new Spectre X360 13 finally uses Microsoft's precision drivers. Combined with a smooth glass surface and large size, it is now a good trackpad. The latest X360 also has an updated chassis with slimmer bezels, Intel's 10th gen processors, and an aggressive starting price of $1,099, $1,299, as reviewed. The Spectre X360 has long been a strong contender in the world of premium 2-in-1 convertible Windows laptops, with the aforementioned trackpad issues being the main thing that held it back. But this year, it has some serious competition from Dell, with its latest XPS 13 2-in-1, including similar internal components and an updated design, not to mention an excellent trackpad. Still, HP holds its own and choosing between the two will really come down to personal preference and how much you're willing to spend on a new laptop. More compact design than prior X360 models. Finally, a good trackpad. Windows Hello compatible camera and fingerprint sensor. Snappy performance, plus an integrated LTE option. Only average battery life. It's time for the 16 to 9 screen to die. Annoying bloatware. The newest Spectre X360 looks very similar to the prior models, but HP has made some crucial tweaks and improvements to the design. The most important one is smaller bezels all around the screen, which not only look more modern and bring HP in line with what Dell has offered for years, but they also allow the machine to have a smaller footprint than before. The X360 is now nearly a full inch shorter than the prior model, but it has the same 13.3 inch display. HP boasts that the X360 13 is now the world's smallest convertible with 90% screen-to-body ratio, which is such a hilariously heavily qualified claim that I had to share it with you. Even with those shrunken bezels, HP still managed to include a Windows Hello compatible webcam above the display, something Dell doesn't offer. There's even a hardware kill switch on the side of the computer for privacy protection though I'd have preferred a physical shutter like the one found on HP's Elite Dragonfly business laptop. If you don't want to use facial recognition to log in, there's a Windows Hello fingerprint scanner just below the keyboard that works exactly as you'd expect. For more on this story, visit the news article link.